Yo, what is up, everybody? It is your boy Skywalker OG coming at you with another Rise of Kingdoms video, and today we're going to be talking about that Charles Harold march that we did use in that 307 KVK. And is Charles a good substitute for Pakal when you are using Harold? Now, let's go ahead and get into the gear that we are using. Let's talk about this. Obviously, we all know, well, most of you know, that I am a Cav slash archer main mainly cav account so we don't have the best of infantry gear but i do feel like this gives me a kind of edge on most of the um people that you are seeing the videos from the content creators that you are seeing videos from on this march because it just puts me a little bit closer to the free to play to low end spenders range on what what realistically what gear they're gonna have right so if you have better gear than this, you're rocking mostly legendary. I will say your Charles Harold will perform a lot better than what I have here. I have seen Charles Harold perform very well. Now, you need the gear though. You need the gear. That is the main focal point. You need the gear. If you have at least this set of gear though, at least like, you know, up to this level, which isn't even high because I don't I'm missing two procs. Shio's was made way long ago. So, you know, it is what it is. I wish I just had the proc epics, but it is what it is. And, you know, Silent Trial or a Delane's, that would be even better. And then, of course, here is the, the uh, talent tree that we are rocking. But if you have better gear than this, Charles is actually going to net you pretty decent traits. Pretty, pretty decent traits. But if you're looking at about where I'm at for gear, let's go ahead and get into it. And let's be disappointed because that, that's exactly what i am for this march is highly highly disappointed as you all know we used guan and alex in front of harold last kvk and i personally just think that harold's defense debuff that he does to himself just kills it for guan or alex now a reminder with the gear i have if you have insane gear you have really good defense gear you're not going to really feel the effect too hard, too heavily. It's going to be okay. But if you're having this kind of gear that I have, these are the kind of reports that you're going to be looking at because you're not going to be able to pull Charles Harold out of the fray. You're not going to be able to get him back. And personally, you don't really want to. You want him to be your tank, and they're really good at doing that. They're really good at being the tank, and they take okay trades. Good, not great. But... You'll, as you'll see, I don't have the most reports from this march because I honestly just felt like I was just throwing away those resources when I sent this march out there, guys. Against OV-166, all this tech, all this gear, it just it just was not there. Um, I will say, if you're in a lower KVK, you're not fighting these Imperium Kingdoms. You're not fighting these guys that are all maxing out tech and got really good gear. You know, this, this march is going to do a lot better for you. Charles Harold's going to do a lot better for you. And it's a good, it's a very good stepping stone into Pakal Harold. Now, what I'm going to say, and probably a lot of people, a lot of content creators, a lot of people just disagree with me, is if you have, um, if you don't have Pakal, if you don't have Pakal, you don't have the means to get Pakal, you don't think you're ever going to get Pakal, or you don't see him in your near future, I personally do not think Harold is worth the invest. I don't. I, I just don't see the hype around Harold without having that Pakal in front. Pakal brings a lot, a lot of buffs that, that Harold just needs. He needs it to be that march that everybody sees these cheeseburger marches that's popping out of cities and popping your skill um these pakal heroes that's running out in front and just taking insane trades on the swarms you need the pakal it's it, there's no if ands or buts about it you have to have that pakal or you have to have just insane gear on your charles or your alex or your guan and at that point it's not the pairing it is the gear it is the gear that is floating that march it is not the pairing itself as you see in these reports it's an okay tank it's an okay tank but to invest in harold just specifically to put him behind alex to put him behind guan to put him behind charles i don't see any value in that guys it's just it's just not there you really need top-notch gear for these marches to work as I said, as a stepping stone, though, it's it's a very good march. It's a very good march as a stepping stone. 
Now keep that in mind as a stepping stone. This is not a stopping point. This is not a very good march that's going to be a stopping point for you. All right. Anyways, guys, I hope that kind of explains it more so than most people do or gives you a better abstract viewpoint than most. Because, I mean, I what I'm trying to do with this series, guys, is just show you guys what the realistic, realistic battle reports that you are potentially going to see. Um, obviously, we're, we're in 916, we're in 307, so we're in an Imperium Kingdom, and we're in a non-Imperium Kingdom, so I try to bring you guys two different spectrums, and of course, on this account, I heavily spend, I max my tech, I go for my gear, and then on that 916 account, we're pretty much free to play every once in a while, well, we pretty much just keep up our 30-day gem supply and get our $5 crystal tech bundle. That is all we get on those accounts. So I try to bring you guys both sides of the spectrum and actually show you these reports and how well all these marches realistically are going to do for you. I don't, I don't try to ride on one commander hype train or bandwagon or yes, yes, this is great. I, I honestly try to give you guys the most abstract, you know, point of view that I possibly can so you can make your own opinion. So you can make your own educated opinion. Of course, at my resource expense. Let's see if I can find some more of these Charles marches. I don't think we're going to be able to find any. I think the next would be an Alex Herald. Because I was from last KVK. Yeah, we're in 623 now. Yep, that's it, guys. That's all the Charles Herald reports that we have. Like I said, I just felt like it was a big waste of resources. So I personally didn't use that much too much, this KVK. Anyways, I hope that helps you guys. And yes, we did summon Pakal. We did get Pakal. We are investing in Pakal. Let's go ahead and show that real quick. Because we will be bringing that to you next KVK in 307. This Pakal is at five two three four and we will not be investing more into that infantry gear we may go for some epic procs or something but i kind of want to keep that gear to about the same baseline as where we are now so i can just show you guys the the insane difference between going from charles harold guan harold alex harold to pakal harold to the actual pairing that it should be i just i want to be able to show you guys to show you how much of an impact having that pakal makes over having just insane gear on a charles and putting harold behind him all right guys until next time i hope this helps you and peace out <laughs>